Hey YouTube, this is Rafaust. Today we have a, uh, a request actually. This is uh, someone requested uh, Punisher covers. So this is my top 10 Punisher covers in my collection. Um, we have an honorable mention here. This is Ghost Rider number six, uh, Mark Texary uh, cover, the great cover. It's got, of course, the Punisher's logo there with Ghost Rider under it, kind of matching skulls. I, I had to put that one in there. That's, a, that's like a classic cover. And that was from 1990. At number 10, we have another 1990 book. This is a Punisher Armory. And this is a, a great Jim Lee cover. This is kind of a, this cover is like the weapons of the Punisher. It was kind of a um, special comic back in 1990. And this is a great classic Jim Lee Punisher cover. So I <clears throat> had to include that one. And number nine, we have a 1980 book. This is, uh, again, a classic Amazing Spider-Man 201. This is by John Romita Sr., and it's a great like bullseye with bullet holes and Spider-Man and Punisher are fighting side by side in this one. Um, and it's again, a classic cover. Uh, so I had to include that one in the top 10. At number eight, we actually have kind of a newer book from 2009. Uh, this is Punisher volume eight. This is a Dave Wilkins cover, a great cover. This is a weird story kind of where Frank Castle dies and becomes Frankencastle, like a Frankenstein. <laughs> but I thought that was a pretty cool cover, so um, had to put that in the list. It's one of the newer comics I own, actually. At number seven, we have another 1990 uh, cover. This is Ghost Rider number five, another classic Jim Lee cover. Um, Ghost Rider fighting Punisher. And uh, anytime Jim Lee uh, draws Punisher, it's, it's a classic. Uh, he's, he's a great artist, especially back then. Um, and anyway, that was number seven. <laughs> number six, I mean, all these are classic covers. This is from uh, 1980, another 1980 book. This is by Frank Miller, Captain America 241. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's a pretty awesome cover. It's one of my favorite Captain America covers. Um, it kind of shows the the brutalness of the Punisher. At number five, we have a uh, 1988 book. This is from the ongoing series, the first or the the first ongoing series of the Punisher. This is number 14 by Wills Portacio, and I think this is a classic cover. It has Kingpin rules there. It's got kind of all the tropes, and he's kind of in a school saving a cheerleader or a student. It's a great, great Punisher cover. He did some really good work on that on that run. And number four, we have from 1989, uh, Punisher War, War Journal number seven. Again, Jim Lee had just everything he draws. And this is Wolverine against Punisher, the classic cover, one of my favorite covers. Um, what can you say? I mean, <laughs> That, I'd love to own the original art of that. That would be awesome. At number three, we have another classic one from 1982. This is Daredevil 183, uh, Frank Miller cover again. And this is just a brutal Punisher Daredevil cover. I mean, Punisher shooting through Daredevil. That's a, a classic. It's been homaged in a number of places. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite covers. And at number two, I had to include this one. This is from 1986. This is uh, the first uh, solo series of Punisher. Uh, the first uh, number one in the miniseries. And this is my Mike Zek, a great artist and just a great cover. Um, so I had to include this um, because it was his first solo series, basically. And it, it is a great cover. Mike Zek does some great covers. And so, at number one, I think we all know what this had to be. <laughs> this is the first appearance of The Punisher from 1973, a Gil Kane cover, classic Amazing Spider-Man. It's been homaged everywhere, and uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man 129.
But um, thanks for watching. And this was actually uh, requested by uh, Banaboy, a, a younger uh, comic collector. And I'll link his uh, channel down below in the uh, description. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Bye.